Hey everyone, welcome back to part 9 of my Create Mod series. Now today we're going to go over on how to make an automated farm with mechanical harvesters. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and drop a like. Feel free to subscribe. I upload a ton of Create Mod content all over the channel. And I don't plan to stop anytime soon. Uh, other than that... Um, I want to go ahead and give credit where credit is due. The design that I'm going to show off was based off of Polart on YouTube. Uh, so his link to his channel is going to be in the description. So definitely feel free to check out uh, his channel. But uh, I have been spending the past like five hours trying to modify his design, try to see if I could find an improvement or something like that. And I could not find one. I think that this is the, one of the best designs for a farm out there. Uh, so I think he's the one that created it originally. I've found other Reddit posts and other YouTube videos, but it seems like he uploaded the first one almost a year ago. So I'm going to give credit where credit is due, and I'm going to say that he was the one that actually invented this thing. Uh, but anyways, let's go through a couple different requirements. So let me show you this side. So you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the outside. And then we have one diagonal, seven, one diagonal and seven. And I've done this so it actually covers all of the crops when it spins around in a circle. Now, that being said, uh, this is all of the items that we need for, uh, for everything we're going to use today. So inside of here, we have a wrench, we have a diamond hoe, wheat seeds, dirt, and so on. Um, the wheat seeds and dirt you don't necessarily need. These are up to you. You can use carrots and potatoes or anything along those lines. The dirt is just uh, building blocks for me. Um, the hoe can be any type of hoe. The wrench you are going to need though. Everything else is required uh, except the slime ball that can also be glue. So let's grab all of these different items and we'll begin crafting. So once we grab all of this... Uh, we could open up our crafting area, uh, and in our crafting area, we're going to go ahead and craft our mechanical bearing, which is two andesite alloys, one andesite casing, a turntable, and a shaft. So to make the turntable is a uh, slab and a shaft, and then that turns into a mechanical bearing with the other ingredients. Uh, then we'll, we only need one radial chassis, but it's three logs and one uh, or two andesite alloys, so we'll throw the extra two right into a chest. The chute is two iron sheets and two andesite alloys. It makes four. Again, we only need one, so feel free to use these for other projects. Uh, then the portable storage interface uh, is two andesite funnels and two brass casings. So to make an andesite funnel is two uh, andesite alloys and two dried kelp, which equals two andesite funnels. And then these, whoops. These andesite funnels plus the brass casings turn into portable storage interfaces. And then the last thing we need to make is the mechanical harvesters, which is four andesite alloys, two iron sheets, and an andesite casing. And we need to make five. So there we go. We've made five of these. So now we are all good to go. So let's first start off. I know that I've built this awkward path. You will see why I've done this. This will turn into farmland, but for now we're going to leave it just as dirt path. So right here we're going to build our little encased fan generator setup. Um, by simply placing uh, the encased fan on top of a magma block, we're going to place a lever here and switch it on. And now we have our little generator. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can either have just copied this design or feel free to check out another one of my videos that I have uh, that's all about power sources that should have just popped up on the screen. Now, for now, we're going to go ahead and actually bury um, this, this little piece of dirt. Now, we've done that because I don't want to activate it yet until I begin actually building. So we're going to put our radial chassis right there. We're going to slime the side of this, and then we're going to place the linear chassis just like so. Now, our next thing we're going to do is take uh, our slime balls, and we're going to slime these five right here. Take our mechanical harvesters, and we're going to place those on as well. Then we're going to take, we have, uh, we're, all, we're going to leave two chests out, but we're going to take three chests and attach them to the back like so. Oops. You could probably leave, it, leave that as a double chest. Uh, but I'm doing single chests just because of aesthetic reasons, um, but that's, that's basically it. Uh, other than that, let's um, attach our port portable storage interface. Man, I can't talk. Like so. And then one block away, we're going to place, or well, let's go two blocks away. We're going to place a chest here and here, and then attach another portable storage interface out there as well. Now, our next step is going to be um, grabbing our wrench. Now, our wrench, we're going to set these to one just like so and set these to one as well oops set these to one as well and so on and so on now the reason i have grabbed a shoot is because i want to show you on how if you wanted to make this at a different level um this chest you can actually change this so 
So I actually caught myself on why I needed this chute. So the chute's able to change directions in the sense that it's going to send it underground, but you need a chute in order to pull it out of the portable storage interface's inventory. So uh, we're going to place the chute below and then put the chest here, and then it'll output inside the chest. Now, other than that, we are basically good to go. Uh, all we got to do now is we're going to go back over here. We're going to break this block of dirt. We're going to try not to fall inside, and we're going to place our mechanical bearing right here. And then we're going to take our, oops, starting to go. We're going to place our block of dirt there. And then we're actually going to, we'll end up hoeing this area. Just like so. And you can see it is now harvesting everything. So it should go ahead and stop just like that. And it's going to drop our items right into the chest. Now we can actually replant this area just like this, as you can see. And now we have a wheat farm that's going to constantly spin. Now, the reason that I've left this space open is because it's kind of hard to tell. But this, when this machine stops, will actually break all of the crops that it's on currently. So there isn't a reason to shut this machine off. It will keep going even when uh, with you just like next to the machine. So I, I just recommend not turning it off. But if it does break, just simply start it back up again, hoe the ground, and plant more seeds, and you'll be good to go. Um, but anyways... If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to go ahead and uh, drop a like. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. I apologize if I was a little... Wow, I, I'm even stuttering on my words here. I apologize if I'm a little out of it for this video. Uh, I'm a computer science major, as you know, and I've been pulling some long days to go ahead and get my schoolwork done. Uh, and making videos on top of it takes a lot of work, but I'm really happy doing it. I just hit a 700 subscribers, and I can't thank you guys enough. Um, but all i got to say is that uh, I can't wait to make the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next one.